The words from the book of the Apocalypse, read at the Mass of Chrism on Holy Thursday, are at the centre of my thoughts this Easter. Grace and peace to you from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, the ruler of the kings of the earth. He loves us and has washed away our sins with his blood and made us a line of kings, priests to serve his God and Father. To him then be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. At Easter, we celebrate and acclaim Jesus Christ as the firstborn from the dead. His resurrection is at the center of our faith, and we rejoice in knowing him as our risen Lord and Savior. In him, the love of God for all humans has been made visible, and we accept that his death on the cross and his rising to new life do wash away our sins and open up for us the life of grace in the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ is the only Savior of the whole human person and of all humanity. The joy and the blessing of knowing Jesus as our Savior comes from our reception of the sacraments. Through the waters of baptism and the anointing with the sacred chrism, we become members of Christ's body, part of the line of kings and priests to serve his God and Father. Our lives are filled with Christ's grace through the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, and Holy Eucharist. And we are constantly invited to respond by offering all of ourselves to our Father with Christ. In this respect, we take great heart from these beautiful words of St. Paul. Think of God's mercy and worship him, I beg you, in a way that is worthy of thinking beings by offering your living bodies as a holy sacrifice, truly pleasing to God. Part of our offering of our lives to God is our service of our brothers and sisters whoever they may be, as we were reminded by our Lord himself as he washed the disciples' feet at the Last Supper. Do you understand what I have done to you? You call me Lord and Master, and rightly so I am. If I then, the Lord and Master, have washed your feet, you should wash each other's feet. I have given you an example so that you may copy what I have done to you. I am sure we have tried during Lent to be more attentive to what the Lord asks of us in following his example in serving and caring for our needy brothers and sisters. Let us not stop now, but rather strive to excel always in loving our neighbor. With the grace of the risen Lord within us, through the power of the Holy Spirit, we must continue to do our very best in serving others, even in the most difficult and trying circumstances. In wishing you a very happy Easter, I pray for the blessing of the risen Lord 
upon yourselves and your loved ones, as we pray also that his peace may be in our hearts and in every corner of our world where it is most needed. May the peace and blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you this Easter and always.